So the first time I was back to Asia, my brother's a sister. I had an older brother and an older sister. I can't remember much about that, so I skipped that one. Uh, the second time I was uh, evacuated, was, uh, my, to come back to London, my father was a, a soldier uh, and he was a gunner and um, he was stationed in the Orkney Islands. So we didn't see a lot of my father during the war. And, um, my mother lived in, first of all, we lived in London, a custom house, in, in, like, right in the area where it's been blown, etc. So, um, my mother decided to send me off on my own to, uh, I went to Brampton, uh, which is near Huntingtonshire. And I was, stayed with uh, a lady who was about 50 years old, I suppose. And she was a spinster and she had a father living there who was getting off rated and had a big plot of land. And they used to grow fruit trees and, and flowers and, 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 and had more or less like an orchard. And uh, we was right on the edge of the village. And uh, I used to go to the local school. And we had American Air Base near there. And we also had an RAF base near there. And the Americans used to drive into the village and back open trucks and throw all us, all us kids chewing gum and things like that which we loved, you know. And um, the, uh, we, the RAF, uh, they had two airmen stationed with this lady, military with this lady, because, you know, they, they didn't have enough accommodation for the, all the people. And um, they were quite nice. One of them was called Albert and one was called Tom. And uh, what the man used to do, he used to uh, help, get me to help him uh, cut flowers in the garden and uh, make bunches up. And then we'd, he'd go along to the pub at night and the Americans would be in this pub. And, he, and he, no money exchanged there, but he would give them bunches of flowers and they would give him things like coffee. And stuff like that, uh, and they used to give these bunches of flowers to girlfriends. Like that, you see. And, uh, so that was quite a good way. And they, of course, although they had all this fruit and stuff like that, the problem was like things like sugar, because that was strictly rational. So was meat, and butter, uh, and uh, imagine uh, butter was two ounces a week, which is spread it too, too thickly on your toast. You've only had two, two slices of toast and that's what he's got. So, um, but they of course were lucky that they could have eggs and stuff from the chickens they kept and things like that. Uh, and also, these airmen were quite uh, nice because one Christmas, was uh, all I had for presents was uh, sort of thing like a Orange or something like that, and a, and a pair of socks or something silly like that. And they, one of them made me a little wooden tank, and one made me a little uh, wooden Spitfire, and I thought, the world of that. Anyway, that was quite an interesting place. And then my mother came and visited me and, and then decided to take me home. And then uh, gradually things got worse again as regards bombing back in London. And so, off I went again, with this time with my older sister, and by this time I had a younger brother, and he come with us, so three of us went to Cornwall. Now, we put on a train at Paddington with uh, a load of evacuees, and, and, and the carriage was purely for evacuees, for volunteers, and only the volunteers knew where he was going. We had no idea where he was going. My mother didn't know where he was going, and I only found out when he actually got there, and then could send a letter back to say where he was. And on the way down, to, we went all the way down to Penzance, which is quite a long train journey. And on the way, I'd stop at the station, and so uh, volunteers 
one that they weren't because not many of us old, but uh, there was really nothing. I was feeling evacuated to Phoenix though. Uh, and uh, with a group, but because they were all very young, there was no schooling for me at all, or the older pupils. There was no secondary schools up there available anyway. And uh, so I, I, in fact, they put me in charge of uh, uh, religious instruction. Well, what the hell did I get to say? How I managed on this, I don't know. I took them to classes, that sort of thing. Well, that my parents realised there was nothing happening up here in Graves. No. At that time, no bombing, nothing. So after about a month, six weeks, I came home and that was it. Went back to school here and resumed normal life, as it thought as much as possible. And what was the food like? What was the direction? Oh, well, it was very mundane. We were very basic, especially when the restaurant started. It was, as far as I can remember, I don't know how my mother managed to keep the food going, interestingly enough. Daily, daily food, daily meals. For instance, I was a glutton for butter, I still am. And I think I must have pinched their butter. I was only a child, so there was only us, my mother, parents and myself. So in the end, my mother gave me my ration of butter, which was two ounces of butter. I can remember this, and she put it on a special dish and on the table whenever we wanted butter. That was, that you, and if we knew that's gone, that's it for the week. I got fed up with being mean with it, so I used it, not all at once, but I used it generously and then went with it. <laughs> but things like that, you know. I just don't remember how she did it. She sent me all over the place getting picking up food, <coughs> sausages, fish, unrationed things. And, uh, or so and so picks picks the bakers have got sausages, or picks the grocers have got sausages. Up I'd go. Butcher's got some liver. That was something else off the board. So it's liver, sausages, fish, all that kind of thing. It's a struggle, continuous struggle. Give enough to. I have people manage with big families. I just don't know. We did, and we were well. As witnesses, I'm still in the ages. How did you feel when it was announced that we had gone to war? I think I was excited. I was. There was no fear. It didn't occur to the likes of me, no doubt to other people, did. that there was a lot of danger in this. It was exciting. It was something happening. It was, oh, this, that, the other. Yeah, we've gone to war. We've got this. And, Oh, even during the war itself, everything was was exciting. It wasn't to me. I was never frightened of it at all. It was most peculiar. Anyway, you know. However, I can remember uh, when we invaded at the end of the war. All the streets around here were full of uh, our men in lorries and uh, tents and ready to be transferred over to the continent sort of thing. Great excitement. Of course, all these men around, you know, it was great. But again, no fear. 